we're going to talk a little bit about our goals for 2018. We discussed that some of the successes and failures of 2017 and yesterday. Yesterday was kind of a rough day, uh, homestead-wise, but uh, today's another day, and so we're going to go, and I'm not just going to talk about it, we're going to look at, we're going to walk around and we're going to look at specifically what I want to do to get ready and have, and do in 2018. My number one goal for 2018 is to finish this bathroom, and has been for four years. So we've made some, we've made some progress. The shower floor is done. I don't have heat in the barn. That's going to be another goal we'll discuss here in a minute. And all my water jugs are freezing up. And uh, this is this is my water for the livestock and for cooking and everything else like that. But it was freezing out in the barn, so now I've got it in here. And the reason it's in here is to keep the toilet from freezing. We've got a heater in here set at 55 degrees. So and uh, my door is just a curtain but it is keeping some of the heat in here and that helps a little bit so this lavatory is not frozen this toilet is not frozen uh, yesterday when the when the water pipes busted we had to turn these off but Tom put a shut off somewhere on the pecs and uh, I'm not sure where he did it but but he shut it off where there's no water going to the washer and dryer or the washer and the kitchen sink out there but I really want to get this done. I want to take showers in my own place. I want to have my own space to take showers, to brush my teeth, to do dishes, to do laundry. Imagine that. The water in the sink drained out. I don't know if you can see it or not. The ice dripping off of that. I'm not sure where that came from. And this is still frozen solid here on each of these. So and it did get it is about freezing right now but it just just above freezing it just did it here in just the last few minutes um the water is dissipated but this back here where it was all completely watered over yesterday is now ice so i have to be careful and not trip over it but at least it's going down it's not completely flooded in here so that's my other one of my other goals let's get this barn heated this is a little bit difficult to see but this round tube thing here with uh, so that is the heater that Tom started working on several years ago, like 2009, 2010, so we can heat the barn, and, and it's a pretty good, there's another one somewhere because the two stacks go to another one, so like the, the bottom one goes, is where the uh, heat, heating box is, and the upper one has uh, places where air can be vented through it and, and be blown, and then, and we were all going to uh, heat the room that we wanted to build. So somewhere back over here, approximately where the freezer is located, is where a heater is going. And I thought it was going to be that wood stove, because we're going to build a room here, 11 foot wide, that goes from this side of the bathroom all the way to the back. And that's the reason I've chosen this area to put put our clothes and stuff, because this is kind of what this room's going to be. I wanted it to be a little bit more streamlined than this, I and mean, then I didn't necessarily want this in here too because I was actually wanting this room to be a place where we could actually put our recliners in here and put our televisions and put our feet up when you get older you like to put your feet up but I'm gonna have to take what I can get right now and if I never have a recliner again that's kind of the way it goes <clears throat> I realize it won't take much but I do want to get this dryer hooked up this is this is a staging area where whenever it's above freezing I can do my dishes and stuff I put my dirty dishes here and then I work my way across and my clean dishes go over there but um uh, but I like the dryer to work. Um, most Some days it's not bad to hang clothes out on the line. If it's real windy, I spend a lot of time chasing the clothes. If it's been cold like it has been lately, I could put something out. And even on a sunny day, it takes all day long to dry one load of laundry. You know, I, that's just not good enough. And so I'd like to get this done too. Besides, I don't like crunchy towels. Some people like crunchy towels, but I don't. This is the chicken pen that I refer to every once in a while that I call the monstrosity. And what it was originally was going to be was kind of like a Joel Salton type pen. It was only going to be 20 inch inches high, but then, you know, Tom doesn't listen to podcasts and watch videos and stuff, so he didn't understand, and he wanted to make it taller so he can get in and out of it. Well, it's low enough. I think it's only four foot tall. It's very difficult for him to get in and out of, and it's very heavy. And this is what I used for my meat birds last year, so I'd actually like to uh, 
start over and build another pen the John Suskovich style. And this is not bad, but it's just not good for moving. You know, they got the metal so the chickens can get in and out of the uh, weather if they need to. And it used to attach to the mobile egg unit. And then so there's a, a place right here where they can actually get into the mobile egg unit. And, and, and this was the pen that I drug behind that. And uh, so I'm glad. And it, because it was so heavy and difficult to move, then I'm glad we're not using it anymore. And I'm glad we have the uh, poultry netting. But this is probably what I'm going to use for my uh, meat birds until I actually can get around and get the, the pen that I want to build. And that's a goal for this year. I can't tell if you can see or not. But you can kind of. That is daylight coming in through the front door. And so when it rains, rain comes in, the wind blows in. We have tried uh, to use um, uh, we uh, weather stripping and it just seems to make the gap bigger. There's a, I mean the weather stripping is there but it makes the gap bigger. So what I was wanting to do and I'm kind of getting defeated on this too. If nothing else, let's get some rubber uh, flashing and overlap it. So at least we'll cut down where some of the wind can come in. I was wanting to put a piece across the bottom and then a piece across here and then a piece across the top. And uh, they all just overlap on the corners. And hopefully that would help keep the wind and the rain out. Because if it's a good rain coming in, I've got to throw towels down to uh, because it my inside of my thing floods another thing I'd like to do though is I'd actually just a little bit of an overhang I want something to come off the top of the uh, camper here to kind of ward off some of the the rain when it comes in because it's just no fun to open a door when, on a rainy day and you have to go outside when you live in a camper and work on a farm several times a day and so I would like to have something where I'm not inundated with rain as soon as I open the door so I'd like to build some sort of a overhang for that and at the same time Tom has trouble going up and down these steps and because he steps so heavily this is actually getting lower so the step from here to here is even harder for him and Gracie my golden retriever she broke her leg pretty bad a few years ago and she's having trouble getting up and down these stairs and she needs to get in out of the cold so it's hard for her to go up and down the stairs so what I want to do also is build a porch and I think what I'd like to have to do is have the porch go from the edge of this window all the way to where this door flies open okay you can see that that's been busted too the wind just blows mercilessly out here sometimes so I'd like to have where even when it opens at least it can come there and that then we can have stairs that come out and down this way and uh, make it more comfortable hopefully for both Tom and for Gracie and for myself too because this we would put uh, tread stuff on it but you can see where I always step several times a day and I have fallen slipped and fallen off these stairs several times and sometimes that really hurts I really need to expand my chicken flock this year I did not do a good job of expanding it last year and I've been paying for it this year you know when you always have some losses with with hawks and and uh, I think that rac raccoon has gotten here to a couple of times and 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 gotten all my chickens and stuff but and then some of these are older too so you know they don't eat, they don't lay eggs over the winter time and I understand that chickens generally don't lay eggs over the winter but but uh, I think I've got like 30 30 chickens something like that and I'm getting like two eggs a day right now so I need to expand the flock where I can at least have enough to, to uh, take care of my own needs and I'd like to be able to take care of customers on a pretty regular basis too. Kenzie wants ducks and that the only thing I can think of we can do is put the ducks in with the chickens and raise them all up together. Uh, I don't trust my dogs to let the ducks just go around and do the thing so we're going to try to integrate some ducks in this year and uh, make her happy and I guess and, and hopefully I can get some eggs somewhere along the way and, and have uh, sell duck eggs too but but well, that's what we're going to do too. This is the driveway that goes down to our road that definitely needs some repairs. There's the camper, the barn, and we've got more crap around here. Every time I talk, talk about getting stuff cleaned up, Tom brings more and more stuff. More campers, more bee stuff, and stuff like that. And it, it may, you may be thinking, well, when the heck are you going to do a house? I have no idea. 
but it belongs over here. We've got we've even you can't see it because of the weeds, but over here is where we're going to put our house. And then that leaves us all the rest of all this for cattle or sheep or pigs or all of the above. You know, put the get the chickens mobile over the summertime and and uh, clean up after the pigs and the cattle and stuff. And you know, this is a lot of land to. You know, over there is a vineyard, and past it is a, a, a pond. It leaks, but there is a pond over there. And I'd like to get some earthwork done. Earthworks done. I'd like to have some ponds on, you know, a pond on my own property. That pond over there belongs to Tom's sister Pam. Even though, you know, all of this is 40 acres, but we only own the middle of 13 and a third acres. But I'd like to get some earthworks done. That's probably not going to be this year, but but I would like to be able to to. Um, take on some of this land and put it to use and and uh, see what we can get done with it with the chickens and the ducks and the pigs and so on and so forth you know cattle and stuff on down the rear road I don't know what I'm going to do to clean some of this stuff up but but the 2018 goals are the chickens and the ducks and the pigs I'm sure I'm forgetting a whole bunch of stuff that I want to do and th or thinking of stuff you know especially like with cleaning up and everything but my final thing is Tom's bees um, it's getting hard for him to do his job anymore. He's been he's been work fixing and washers and dryers and stuff for over 30 years now. He loves doing these bees. He loves to you know this this camper right there is full of bee equipment, and uh, he's got some more bee equipment back there that needs that it basically needs to be burned. It's it's in pretty bad shape, but he loves his bees. We're going to do a separate video somewhere along the way when we have some time so that Tom can specifically tell you what his beekeeping video. Uh, goals are for 2018 but uh this this is what, what he want to expand pretty good but we'll talk to him about it another time but these are our goals for 2018 and we'll refer to this at the end of the year and see how we got any closer at all one of the things i'd forgotten to mention is tom had picked up this this is a wood pellet stove i'm not sure i guess those are just fake rocks in there and stuff and this is still in the back of his pickup this is what he wants to use instead of that other stove that I was talking about earlier. And I think the auger in it or something is broken. He got it, he picked it up at an auction at a really cheap price. But one way or another, this is what he now wants to use for heat in the barn. So we'll just have to see how that goes. And, and uh, I don't care. I just want heat.